The answer to the athletic question of the day is Pat Sajak, the winner, Jamie Longfellow from Tallahassee, Florida. Well, a new poll from Trinity College found that between 1990 and 2008, 8% 8 of Americans with no religious affiliation increased from 8% to 15%. What's going on? Should we be concerned as a nation? Our next guest studied religion for their new documentary called Collision. Now, I believe that the uh, defenses for the Christian faith are, are sound and solid, and, I can, and I've studied them and worked through them. And I've embraced them and, and sort of made them mine, but that's not why I am a Christian. I'm a Christian because it was a gift of God. The idea of someone being a person of faith, being necessarily in and of itself a good thing, uh, needed to be challenged. Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, atheist Christopher Hitchens and Pastor Douglas Wilson, the two people in this new DVD called Collision. Good to see both of you. Thanks for having us. All right, Christopher, let me start with you, because you've made a career out of promoting yourself as an atheist. So when you see these numbers coming out now, specifically that by 2028, 25% of this nation will deem themselves atheists as well. Why do you think that's happening? Well, I wish that was true also. I wish I could really build a career around it. But well, you have. I, I think the number of people who check the none of the above box is definitely increasing, and it's because they want to push back against theocracy and the parties of God and the awful challenge they pose to us internationally, and also I think because they resent things like the attempt to teach nonsense in school under the smuggled through customs name of intelligent design, but I, they're not all of them atheists by any means. They're just simply people who don't attend a church, don't have any particular faith. I think it'd be fair to call them agnostic. The number of people like myself who think that religion is false, th that it's a delusion, mm -hmm. um, in other words, and that it's bad for you is still pretty small. Mm -hmm. But well, growing, growing. By, by the way, your side seems to be winning in public schools, at, at least across America. Let me turn to you, well, Pastor yes. Douglas. Well, well yes, the, it is, by, by all accounts. Well, a lot so, of things so that relate will, to religion so have gone will, by. Science so will beat pseudoscience every time. Pastor Douglas Wilson, let me get you in here. How do you handle your cool when you sit next to Christopher Hitchens? Because you are a man of faith. Right. And so how do you handle yourself knowing that he is going to just come right back at you? Well. Um, it's fortunate that Christopher and I get along, get along, get on quite well off camera. And uh, Christopher wears his unbelief like a fur coat. You know, he—it's just one of the things you have to. <laughs> but you wear your faith like a fur coat as well. Yeah, um, even on a hot day. Yeah. So why is he wrong? Why is Christianity not a myth? Well, uh, Christianity is not a myth. And everything comes down to the history of the thing, but if Jesus didn't come back from the dead, then, then Christianity is appalling. Uh, it's an appalling uh, fraud and delusion, and, and every unbeliever ought to attack it. It's not, Christianity's not good for the world because it makes people decent and sober and that sort of thing. Uh, at the end of the day, if it's not true, if it's not objectively true, then uh, I don't have any more use for it than Christopher does. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a good thing at the end of the day. The, the God that Christopher doesn't believe in, I don't believe in that one either. Oh, that's, interesting. That, that would so be he's the, given you one. That would be the answer to your question. In other words, it, often when you argue with religious people, they're just completely mushy. They say, well, some Christians give to charity, say, as if no Muslims did or no Jews did. Um, they say, well, the Bible stories aren't really true. They're sort of metaphors. But, they're but, some morality but tales. But why is Doug, Doug, Wilson, Doug Wilson really believes in it. But, well, because, as he says, if it's, if, if it's based on a, on a fraud if the virgin birth and the resurrection and the miracles didn't occur, which they did not, then, then its preachings are immoral. They, 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 they teach you that your sins can be forgiven by throwing them onto a scapegoat, a positively wicked doctrine. And the, and the better it gets, if someone's, a mar if someone's a martyr, the better it gets, the worse it is, because you're encouraging people to die for a, a, a lie or a delusion. This is what you'll find in Collision, the two of them going head to head. I might also add that you're very respectful of each other. Maybe that's why you're friends as well. Christopher Hitchens, Pastor Douglas Wilson, very interesting conversation. Thank you.